you beer tubers. I'm here at the Bootleggers Brewery in Southern California. As you see, I'm in their tasting room right here. And I'm here with a really special guest. Let me come out and I'll introduce you guys to him. It is Jay for the Jay's Beers Reviews. Hello everybody. <laughs> it's kind of it's dark right here, so we're gonna try to make sure we get some, some light. So the first beer that I like to try is their uh, is Bootlegger's uh, Rustic Rye IPA, and this is a very one of their more well-known ones. And I just want to point out real quickly, we're at a place called Bootlegger's, and the beer is being served in these like twist-top mason jars. I know. Which is like fitting for the name of the brewery, I know, it's right? Bootlegger's. We drink from this mason jar. <laughs> it's, it's so perfect. It's practically moonshine beer. I know. <laughs> So yeah, the the rustic rye IPA. It's a IPA. It's a rye IPA, and it has a classic West Coast kind of aroma. You check it. It has this sweet yeah. citrus, mango, apricot kind of aroma. Yep. And it's some a slight spices that you get from the rye, but it's not as strong as some I would get from certain rye IPAs. Have you ever had beer from Bootleggers before? Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is not a first. Yeah, this is actually the second time I've been here. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Um, this actually is somewhat, uh, it's sweet up front, and then, uh, but the, in the middle, towards the middle, the body's pretty light. It has that, like, nice uh, mango and citrus flavors that you talked about, but it also is balanced well as well. Balanced well as well. Uh, where it's not, like, overly malty in the back, so I, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, it's, it's quite drinkable, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, it finishes uh, pretty dry because of the hops. Do you have any idea what I'm drinking here? Yeah, it's the Black Phoenix. Black Phoenix. Yeah, that's right. It's the Black Phoenix. It's their Chipotle, uh, Chipotle coffee stout, and it's on nitro. So this is something you only could get at the brewery. It's going to be nice and smooth. So let's give this one a try. Oh yeah, you can smell like the coffee grain in the nose. Uh, oh yeah. The roastiness. I mean, typical to any coffee test or dark stout. Yeah. But it's, it's got a nice nose on it for sure. Yeah, I don't get too much of that vegetable pepper, you yeah. know, chipotle thing at all. But the coffee is prominent, but it's not overly roasty. It's not too much either. Okay. Um, the pepper does come through when you drink it. Oh, yeah. The chipotle kind of comes through. Just a touch, but it's noticeable. Uh, it also drinks rather uh, thin on the mouth. Real thin. Mm. Um, well, because it's nitro, it's like no carbonation. It's like air pressure. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get our second round right here. This is the menu that they have. As you see, you have the option of having a flight right here. And I know we're going to end the night with this one in particular. The brewery. Yeah. It's yeah. so ghetto. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's awesome. <laughs> Smoked wheat. And what's the other one that we want to try? What do you think? Want to try both smoke ones? Sure, yeah. Both smoke beers. Very nice. I like. Alright, uh, the next two beers that we got is, are they're actually both smoke ales. This is the Wildfire Wheat. It's a smoke ale, which is very unusual, and this is the smoke jack, which is just a general smoked ale. So I say, uh, let's start with a regular smoked ale. Let's do it. It's a very, it's very clear, it almost looks like a golden ale lager. And yeah, you definitely get some light bacon-ish smoke <laughs> kind of smell to it. Nothing burps better than bacon. Yeah, I know. Bacon's always good for you. It's on the lighter side. Uh, I think it's about 5 or 6 percent ABV. Your water looks tasty. Mm. Uh, okay, so yes, very, this one's very light in the smoke. Um, it's got quite a bit of carbonation, but it's got a decent amount of malt sweetness, like you would get in a, a sweeter golden ale. And at the end, it's almost like you taste like caramelized bacon. It's kind of like what I gather. Let me give it a shot. Yeah, the smoke's real light in this. Yeah, it's fruity too in a weird way. It is. Yeah, it has a fruity sweetness. Yeah, the smoke is very lightness. Um, I like this. 
this. Yeah. But I actually would think that I would like a little bit more smoke if I'm gonna call something a smoked beer. Yeah, this may be like a good entry level smoked beer for someone to kind of get introduced to That's it. That's never had a smoked beer and just trying it. But the flavor, yeah. the, the fruitiness is kind of nice. In this. It is nice. Yeah. It seems like so far bootleggers, their their beers are on the malty side. Yeah. Smells like a half. Like a half a pint of wheat beer, but it's got some smoke, so it's got an interesting mixed, like smoked banana kind of smell to it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's very light in the feel. This is one of those beers that kind of like finishes off really quick. It has a very finish, uh, quick ending to it. Yeah, once again. Oh, you know the smoke. Oh, that second sip came through a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but again, very light. Very, very light in smoke. I didn't get the smoke the first sip, I took a second sip, and I got it in the finish. Yeah. But it's, it's just that ever so that. Yeah, they're, 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 both of these smoked beers are on the lighter side, for sure, which makes it more drinkable for some people. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have our final drinks here. No, we got four more. We got four more? Okay. <laughs> Well, so this is their uh, Chaos Golden Belgian Ale. Um, this is actually a really well-known beer by bootleggers, so if you see it around, definitely check it out. Uh, this is actually my first time trying it. Uh, it's got a nice cloudy, yellowish orange color. Yeah, it's got this apple-y, belgian yeast kind of character. It has this yeasty, bready smell to it. Wow. It's actually very yeasty and bready, more than I'm used to. Dry finish, like, yeah. like dry apples. Then. Very dry, very yeasty. The apple does come through. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. I think it's not bad, but I think it's cool the fact that it's actually become really popular. And what's this? That's the Knuckle Sandwich Double IPA. Do I want a Knuckle Sandwich? You're darn right I do. <laughs> Oh wow. And Beer Geek Nation Chris, he actually reviewed it. He loved the heck out of it. Well, it's got a great nose on it. But that being said, you can tell that this is going to be a malt bomb just on the nose. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's a double IP that smells more on the malty side. And I've had this one before. It's very, very um, sweet. It's a sweet aroma to it. Yeah. Yeah. Bitter is high, but followed by a multi backbone, of course, yeah. probably because of whatever they're using to bring up that ABV because this one's in the 10% range. Yeah, 10%. It's pretty high. Um, this one you definitely get like Centennial or Cascade hops. This one definitely there you got the West Coast citrus, pine kind of aroma. I like it. But the malt is definitely there. Malt is there. Yeah, but it's, it's got a good balance, I think. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a malt bomb this time. Yeah, because I, 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 if you watch my show, you know I hate IPAs that are malt bombs. Yeah. This is malty, but it's balanced enough where you can still t detect that hot present mixed in with that malt sweetness. Yeah. I like it. I think by far of the beers that we, out of the beers that we've had, this is actually my favorite. Really? Yeah, because the last time I had this, which was I guess six, seven months ago, um, it was much more malty. Really? And I couldn't really deal with it much anymore. But this batch has got a great balance, and I, I enjoyed this one a lot. Sweet, citrusy, piney, with a nice small backbone to balance it. Yeah. Balance off those hops. I like that. It's looking sweet and hot. I guess that's about it. Um, thanks so much for doing this review. And as always, I really dig, dig hanging out with this guy. This guy, if you see his reviews, he's exactly like that. A cool dude. Well, same for you, because I watch a lot of different beer reviewers. Uh, maybe less now that I'm so busy, but I've seen many. And when I watch your reviews, I say to myself, that's a guy I want to have beer with. And now I'm here, in the flesh, having beer with you, and you don't disappoint. Um, you could, you're, you, you're totally happy to go back to heaven now. It's like, yeah, I could die happy now. <laughs> I met the coolest dude. <laughs> Alright man, well, that was good you. reviewing, good hanging out. We'll have a few more beers and I'll uh, see you guys in another beer vlog.